Oh, everybody, hey, welcome back to uh, some uh, Skate Around Action uh, edition number five. My name is Nasty Moves. I'm joined by the, the lovely Toxic Lady, our wonderful tournament head announcer. <laughs> what a privilege. You. Isn't that fantastic? Hi, Nasty Moves. I'll tell you what, I got all kinds of good news for you. One of them is that we have a lot of roller derby today. Of course, in a few minutes, we're going to start up with... Uh, the two next teams of today, and that's going to be Namur Roller Derby A team uh, taking up against Vienna Roller Derby. And uh, I can tell you the most important part, if Namur wins this game today, they will have won the tournament. So we're still looking at what's going on, but that's what it's looking like. Uh, however, Vienna could also win this game. And if they do, they will have won their first game of the tournament and then we'll recalculate a little bit and see what happens. Yeah, and you do the math because I'm very bad at that. Oh but no, it's going I thought to you be were bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, it's going damn. to be a very nice oh, no. game. This is the last game of the tournament uh, without the two other games that we have afterwards. The NGB, the Namur Ghost Bastards of Namur against um, Ghost, Valley. Ghost Valley and Namur Roller Derby Team C. Uh, against a La Meute from Metz. Yeah, and you'll be playing that one, so that's going to be a lot I of fun to see you that doing one. that. That's going to be great. Our colleague Arno uh, presenting here, uh, announcing in the hall, will be playing also as well. So you'll be stuck with me, and you'll be stuck with our colleague Dark Pistol uh, a bit later too Which as well. Which is not a bad place no, to be. No, of course not. No, that's in. so nice of you. Yeah, and it's not a bad place to be hanging out here. Uh, Vienna Roller Derby... Uh, I'll tell you what, we've read the rosters all weekend. I can tell you that we have probably on heavy rotation three different jammers uh, to watch. Number 19, Anxion, uh, Pixie Fox 313, and Flisby 591. But you know, for we all know they could change it up completely. And f as, uh, as it goes for the... Uh, the Namur, Namur Yeah, of team. course, got Ninon, of course. They, and yeah. uh, uh, Gillis will be there too as well, yeah. jamming and... Uh, yeah, we don't know. We've seen a bit of Bat Smash, we've seen a bit of Long Roule, and a bit of Pulp, so we'll see how that goes as well. It's changed a little bit. Yeah, the Damio team uh, certainly has a lot of people who can jam, and some usual jammers who also like to pivot sometimes, so uh, I don't know exactly who we can be expecting to see quite regularly on the track. But we'll see. We'll have to hang in there, and we'll see that. So uh, this, is, this is quite a lot of fun. How many times have you done this, uh, this tournament, by the way? Um, that's, this is the fourth time I I was I wasn't there for the first edition, but you were. Yeah, I was too. Yeah, I wore my T-shirt yesterday. I did my best to show it off, but yeah, that was kind of funny. Uh, I was there for the first edition. I was actually very happy that um, how should I say Wallonia was having a, had a tournament because of course we'd been quite a lot of times. Uh, for uh, Skates of Glory, that was the name of the tournament it yeah, for a long time. Work, yeah. I was like, I was like, it's called Skates of, Sk and of course, Skate it Odyssey. Just, it was not just Bologna. It was for I was you know, it, it, because I was in uh, Flanders. No Flanders, but yeah, of course, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> uh, and also of course, a Skate Odyssey, quite a famous tournament to uh, Ghent that became Star Trek at some point too as well. Very good times. I those were the ones that I, I cut my chops on, as the expression goes, where I learned a lot of things, and I'm, we're really happy this weekend. We had some people that you know, we had Alexia who. Uh, did the stream for the first time so we're having a we're having a great time we're a little bit delayed so we're gonna chat you up about something's going on we're very happy feel free to uh like subscribe uh buy a super sticker buy a super <laughs> chat do all the things that the crazy kids do nowadays on the uh, youtube channel called derby live stream and every cent of it goes to paying for the ton of equipment and the hard work being put in by our streaming team because it's never cheap and it's probably getting more expensive every yeah, year. Yeah, and it's case. brought to you by the Namur, someone from the Namur uh, Roller Derby League. So it's very nice to have someone local that provides a free and a very entertaining Roller Derby. You can <laughs> also... Very entertaining. <laughs> very entertaining. You can also watch the previous games or the previous editions very on the, on the YouTube. the playlists. Yeah. Those playlists are fantastic. Yeah, this is the first tournament I've seen with such an organized playlist. I love it but you're absolutely right you can hear me say all kinds of crazy stuff about um the famous uh, amsterdam uh, albany all-stars games and like you said yesterday too you know the glasgow screaming so hard we had to tell them to stop screaming at their yeah. players but of course screaming in in the right in the yelling to get them to do something it was and it was uh they were doing really really well so uh, it was the second edition of uh, skate around in floref where you and i met also for the first yeah. time and so the glasgow <laughs> coach was uh, looking at the jammer and they, when they were do um, they were doing a countdown they were doing three oh, that two was it, yeah. <laughs> one 
call it. And the thing is, that person has such a powerful presence and voice. Everybody in the hall was caught by their voice. And also, you could see that the referees also started to get their whistles close to their mouth because they knew that the jammer was about to call it off because their coach was yeah, but yelling at they're them not too. Supposed to but they're not, so but, but you could see <laughs> that they were preparing themselves in and even though they were like, no, I shouldn't, because I shouldn't listen to the coach. But she, the person was so powerful. That's, uh, that's pretty crazy. Coaches, I'll well. tell you what, in, in many tournaments, I'm thinking of West Track Story and Nantes. <laughs> uh, we have, uh, yeah, we have personalities as coaches, and obviously they can't really do the same shenanigans as you, uh, as happens with uh, football and whatnot. As I say this, we are getting started. Namur Roller Derby, Vienna Roller Derby. We're going to call them Namur. Namur are in blue with a red accent. And we have uh, the lovely uh, team of Vienna, Vienna. with their orange, bright, beautiful orange with a beautiful turquoise accent. Yes. Ah, we got a fresh rosters from our colleague Arno. Arno is the man. He's the only one on our team, and we're really happy to have that. So here we go. We're off to the races. Tell us what's going on there. Well, we have uh, Ninon jamming for Namur and Flisby jamming for Vienna Royal Derby. So we are starting off with two jammers that have been constant, consistent uh, in their own team. And we are we just passed the pivot line right now. And that's how strong and fast the action is going with, with uh, Ninon being sent to the penalty box. And we are now in a power jam in the advantage of Vienna with also a Viennese. Viennese? No, can yes. we say that? Yes, yeah, Viennese. You can. Yep. It's not like the Vietnamese because I'm Asian. No, like Vien <laughs> Viennese. Viennese. Yes, Viennese uh, blocker sitting in the penalty box. We st the lead is still open, Nasty. Can you have a look at that? I'm having a look at uh, all the blockage going there. I see number 24, Alin, uh, giving the business there to number. 591, which is, of course, Flisby. Flisby, you know, we saw them do a lot of great work yesterday. We're going to see a lot more. And I can tell you, a lot of people take the inside line, but I'm seeing uh, Flisby just trying to get through the middle. But Nino is like, Nino doesn't do blockers. We decide that. They're like, they can't be bothered. <laughs> and uh, like you, you taught us yesterday, if you go around and do a few rounds, it's called a Nino. Uh, they're not phased at all. And that's uh, yeah. fantastic to watch. But uh, she didn't take the lead. So I don't know what happened to the lead. Was, was it because she was sent to the penalty box? I didn't see when exactly uh, Nino was sent to the penalty box. We're going to run it for two minutes. Doesn't, I don't even, I don't mind. I'm just going to watch Nino for the meantime. <laughs> No, I don't mind at all. I'm good. Four points then for Nino, the first four points of this game. Yeah. Uh, Flisby apparently has taken the lead. So uh, there I, we think, go. I it was, think we had yeah. a little bit of confusion there. You're right. Uh, the board was doing it a little bit differently. Uh, however, the results, uh, the results don't lie. It's going to be six points there on the board for Namur and no points at the moment for uh, the Viennese team. <laughs> Yeah, it does sound weird to oh, we can call it. We can call them the Austrian team. You can say that too. I well. can say that too. You can say that. That's so the advantage of the, the, of the, word, of the Wallo tournament is Wallonie, that each Belge. team comes from a different country. So I, that I, I, It's always been that way, and that's been, that's been fantastic. Gilles up against Pixie Fox. Gilles jamming for Namur and Pixie Fox for Vienna. Very tight walls again. Like you said, we're taking our time to go over the pivot line. That means that everyone's, uh, everyone's real busy. Just yeah, keeping and, it really and efficient, tight. very efficient. Good action on the number 115 on the, the Viennese team, that is Penty Brinker, who was holding Gilles until the end with the number 24, OG, which is a great roller derby name. <laughs> Gilles coming in for a scoring pass. Star Stash on the orange side of things through the outside. Chaton trying to get in there. But yeah, when you're alone, you can't stretch that pack out. They've got to let them go. That's just the sad way of things. Both at the same time. And you know what it is. You put your cover on, you get a call off. Doesn't happen very often differently, but that's just the way it is. I'm hoping for more points. I'm always hoping for more points. <laughs> However, Vienna has yet to get rid of that zero uh, on, the, uh, on the board. Pixie That's Fox was trying to get uh, there. They, they managed to do their initial yeah. pass, but of course, Gilles was not having them gain any, more, gain any points yet. 10-0 ten, ten for now, uh, quite a while to go, and I'm curious to see how this is going to pan out. Namur very much up in front at the moment, but it's going to take a few jams to find out how that's going to develop. And we have Batsmash against November Payne, jamming respectively for Namur and for Vienna with Batsmash taking the lead just after the pivot line with uh, Lorul being knocked out by the Viennese uh, jammer, but recovering. Ooh, lots of, uh, wow. 
very strong action, very fast blocking from the Viennese and the, the Namur teams. Yeah, Bat Smash was like, yeah, I'm not being bothered with that. They called it off really quickly. Both benches very, very, uh, yeah, very acute on everything. Uh, speaking of bench, we've got, uh, uh, we may want to, oh yeah, we're talking to the inside. They've seen something, nothing happens. We'll give you any, any information that happens. See, that's the thing with roller derby. You just have to see people's faces and what they do to actually get a lot of information. Thankfully, we have someone counting points for us too as well. We're off again with Nino and Action. Tell us about that, that toxic lady. So we had some uh, people being the penalty box uh, uh, blocker from Namur, and we have uh, Action and Nino uh, in the middle. I can't see them. They're in the middle. They're hiding from <laughs> you. Just, well, watch. They're going to come through at some point. There we go. We have the walls in front of us too. Vienna trying to keep that pack together. Uh, you can't go back and forth at the same time. We're all good though. Nicely stretched out. Yeah. Anxion on the outside. But Nino is like, yeah, I can't be bothered. But they are getting some business there for sure. That's a bit tough times for them. They are being recycled as well. Look at that. Yeah. At the end of the pack. And Anxion took the lead for Vienna after more than 30 seconds of the, this fourth jam already. And yeah, Nino, I know, you. it's like, where's it going? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nino in the back. And they have taken off their cover. But uh, Chaton, who's the pivot, was uh, bridging between, and I'm trying to see if there will be we go ahead, Nasty. What do you see? Uh, yeah, I see. I know we're trying to see through all this traffic. That's for sure. Nino is having a tough time. Their own blockers are a little bit in the way, but I know Chaton now uh, just trying to just move everything out of the way. Uh, Namur, when they stick together in the front or they stick together, period, uh, that'll work out. But Action is uh, definitely moving them out of the way. But everyone must be blocking fantastically because we're not moving very fast. Uh, Corner three is going to be her favorite corner for a while. Now, Nino finally gets out with that star stash. That was a lot of work, though, as that jam ends. Yeah, the Chaton de Pou is the pivot could not go get the cover because they had one blocker down in the penalty box. So uh, they were busy blocking Auxion and preventing them from doing a second scoring pass because they did just one or two. Oh, am I mistaken? They did two scoring pass. Oh, is it from the previous jam? Yeah, that's uh, eight point. Yeah, it's all uh, weird. We have the information on the screen. We're sharing that with everyone. Uh, well, of course, we have it maybe a few seconds before, but it's all good. Namur Roller Derby at 14, and now Vienna Roller Derby at 8. Still not a big di not a big difference. So Gilles and Flisby are up against each other, as they have been, well, as a lot of them have been the whole weekend. It's the first time they're playing each other, but those are, those are the jammers on heavy rotation, is what I'm trying to say. Gilles is out, number 27, in blue there for Namur, out in the front. Uh, both jammers finally out, Flisby out there too as well. And there's a lot of traffic in front of us. Namur trying to get around, physically around, uh, the other blockers. But Gillis is like, yeah, I'm done. And they call that off. The call-offs are nice and tight. It's really nice to watch. No points in that last scoring pass though for Vienna. And a few more points on the board, two to be exact, for Vienna. Uh, sorry, for Namur uh, Roller Derby. And we have some people cheering for Vienna in the chat with uh, Gemma, Yasmina Gemma, 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 Gemma. Let's video go Vienna. We learned Gemma, 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 <laughs> which meant like you know go get them or something. Thank you for teaching us that. Everyone from uh, from Austria is really cool. Ah, the cool. great live stream. Thank you, Ali Namur, of course, uh, your your fan club. The ones. The people from Namur, they couldn't be bothered to come all the way here to see it, but no, we're joking. Maybe they had a good reason for that. Maybe That's they're following in on the stream and also in the hall. Who knows? What's going on right now? We have Pixie Fox jamming uh, for Vienna, who's been a consistent jammer during this tournament and who made uh, the took, took, took the lead, being recycled on the other pack. While we have Long Roule jamming for uh, Namur, who was coming fast in the pack. And I think both jammers managed to score points, if I'm not mistaken. No, is it only Namur? So even though Pixie uh, had the lead, <laughs> I'm being shown the things that I can't read. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, two uh, points, Namur yeah. scored two points. Oh, it's too small. Yeah, there you go. It's small for it's you. It's very there small. You I'm attracted to you know the people on the screen. Yeah, you're you're being distracted. Are you one of those people? <laughs> I I'm, I'm, I'm driven to silly. humans and not to numbers. But you're <laughs> that's why you're a toxic lady. You're a, you're a wonderful human being in any case. Speaking of wonderful, Nino is out of the pack. Has the lead for for Namur. 
And November Payne jamming for the first time in this game. Also did quite a lot of uh, some jamming and a lot of star passes yesterday. So we're going to keep an eye on that. Uh, that's one blocker down for a pivot. Oh, there we go for for uh, Vienna. Uh, yeah, Nino. Yeah, got back on track at the right place, but is missing then one point. But we'll have that indicated by our lovely jammer refs. Yeah, Nino was stuck by, in so a position that they don't like, right? They would be no. stuck to behind blockers and yeah, managed to stay inside. Yeah, and their foot was caught, so that you need to get back. That's some very good track awareness. It's always nice to see that. We're going to have one more blocker down for, uh, I believe, Namir, but I'm really quick to see it. No, for Vienna again, too. Whole lot of whistling was going on at the same time, to be honest. And we're going to set up maybe a bit differently. So far, a uh, uh, pretty clean game. Uh, we, uh, yeah, I know we, we, have to, we can look at the penalties maybe a bit later, but for now, that's good. Uh, Vienna still at eight points, and Namur uh, doing some nice um, more than one jam, more than one scoring pass uh, business, and have brought them up with eight points up to 26. We have uh, Gilles and Anxion jamming respectively for Namur and uh, for uh, Vienna with lots of blockers sitting in the penalty box. It was like there is not a lot of people on the track right now, but they're still managing to keep both the jammers uh, in the pack with Gilles trying to push their way in front of the pack against uh, the number 61 and uh, 115 from Vienna and gets the lead. Panty Breaker 115 definitely doing a lot of great work this weekend as a blocker. Uh, lots of block. We'll give a lot of love to blocker. Sailor Mean 127 to getting the getting in there, getting on the outside, trying to move everyone. Pimos has been doing some great job, but you know them all. You probably know them all off by heart. It's really good to tell I them. I don't because I'm very bad at remembering stuff. Okay, duly noted. <laughs> and uh, here we go. Here's a, a three-pointer from Namur. So that was uh, there was a, a, a no-pass situation. I guess we missed that one. And Vienna managed to put uh, one more on the board. So they went from eight to nine, which is really good. Uh, yeah, we got the, the Vienna fans and the Namur fans in the chat. Thanks for being there. We really appreciate it. Be sure to like, sub, uh, send super stickers. And, uh, and all that kind of business. And all that kind of business for uh, the stream. Bat Smash uh, jamming again uh, this weekend with Flisby. That's what's going on at the moment. We are at the pivot line trying to get through. Beautiful walls on both sides. You can say that roller derby. L'Enroule trying to keep that. Oh, there's just two of them left. There were three just a half second ago. But, oh, through the middle, Flisby is not out of the pack yet, but does have the lead. Kind of, sort of. Yeah, it's always uh, sad when you get the lead and then you have walls uh, reforming in front of you. <laughs> walls and they said it's not over yet. Walls with capital letters. <laughs> <laughs> Le mur de Namur, but that's an easy joke. Or La Citadelle, as we called it as well, too. Yeah. All, yeah. The, all the jokes, all the jokes this weekend. Yeah, so many citadels, I think, in France and in, in Belgium that, you know, it's not appropriate just for one city. We have a big block of, uh, there's a big pack. There's a big pack. The pack is big. There's a star pass that just happened uh, for, not, picked up by 537 L'Enroule, which I had noted with SP on my board that says for star pass, because that's going to happen quite a few times. See, I mentioned yeah. star pass, it happens. We, we think we're influencing the game. We're not really influencing the game, but whatever. Uh, but maybe we are, you know, subconsciously. No, I don't know. I was very sad yesterday. I said, "Oh, let's thank all the medic," and then there was an injury just afterwards. Oh, don't no, don't <laughs> talk about don't even talk about that. Don't talk about that here. I'm knocking on the wood. Maybe you can hear it. Oh, we got some photographers running around taking a un buttload of pictures in the thousands. I was told by Jurgen, our head photographer, this weekend. Nino Pixie Fox, Pixie Fox with the lead, uh, quite fast out of the first turn, coming in for a scoring pass. Still needs a few seconds to do that. And a star pass on the other side for Tinker. I haven't had a chance to say the word Tinker yet this weekend. I noticed that Tinker did some baking, though, however, if I'm not mistaken. Did. I saw a name Tinker, and I figured that person must have done some baking for us, uh, as well as you making jam for us. I'm going to show the whole world your jam when we have a <laughs> jam, jam roller. Di nah, it's too funny for words, too, as well. <laughs> Namir is still out in it's the confusing. front. Uh, did not score any points in that last jam, and Vienna picked up one. And we are getting ready for already the 11th jam of this first 
half time. Don't forget, this is the last game of the four team tournament. We still have two more games afterwards uh, the Namur Goyers Bastards and the Namur Team C. And we have now a power. A jam in the favor of Namur because November Payne from Vienna is sitting in the penalty box right now uh, with still a very uh, active action from the Viennese, Viennese blockers. See? <laughs> You're getting your countries mixed up, okay. Vienna, think Vienna roll, Viennoise. It's okay. The orange team, you can say that too. The as orange well. team, I can't There we go. No worries. Gillis is out as they tend to do most of this weekend. Great job. Now, the blockers are like, okay, we have to get ready for everyone coming in. And they're quite separated. Chaton uh, holding up the uh, Namur tripod there in the front. Oh, and they're getting some business there. Some nice visit there from Always Ultra, which has done quite, a, quite some serious blocking too this weekend. That's also very nice. Everything happening in front of us. And uh, November Pain is out. That's uh, number 82. I'm saying that, I, w I said it as I was uh, raising my voice, I had a feeling that uh, we were gonna call that off. No points for uh, Vienna Roller Derby, four points for Nemir Roller Derby. So we had it, it ran a bit longer on the Nemir side at the beginning, and now the, the jams are, uh, the scoring passes are just one instead of two or three. So that's yeah. how that's going for the moment. And we have less than 15 minutes left in this first half. Yeah, and we haven't reached a 50 uh, points mark. We are 20 points difference between Namur and Vienna right now, which is very interesting to see. I, uh, It's a really good game, very fast, very uh, offensive, but also very efficient. And we have Anxian uh, taking the lead for uh, the orange team right now with a little bit of a star pass action with a tinker number 934 taking the cover for Namur while we have Anxion just in front of us trying to make their scoring price and calling it off and uh, a little bit of uh, consulting by the referees isn't it nice that we have referees here that you know talk to each other uh, uh, not like in other games I we mean do. Not we, do. Derby do that we have NSOs I have to say this online for everyone. we have NSOs from everywhere from like eight or ten different countries we have Norwegian ones because someone showed up with some chocolate that I like from Norway this morning and I don't know who you are but uh, <laughs> uh, yay elska day <laughs> there we go it's done I didn't I said my Norwegian online that's good back on track Nino and Flisby uh, Nino in the front, but yeah, it's all kind of jammed up there. Great work from number eight, the pivot for, of uh, Vienna. That's Toremoto, also the captain. With and a star, star pass. pass. Le with, passage de l'étoile. Yeah, uh, with the bat smash taking uh, the cover. We also had two blockers who were sent uh, in the penalty box during this jam, which uh, seriously reduces uh, the Namur blockers on uh, the track. It leaves uh, holes in your wall. Yeah. Again, it happens uh, still, uh, maybe in the second half, people realize what they're doing and whatnot, but it's still being okay. I had a good talk, by the way, you can see on your screen now, the wonderful people that run the penalty box, and they said that everyone has been polite and courteous, and it's been a lot of fun uh, so far this weekend. I know you're like, why am I saying this? But they felt like they needed to say it, and I thought that was really nice of the NSOs to it's really share nice that to with hear. us. Because we're like spies, we go everywhere. We <laughs> Pixie Fox has the lead in the meantime. Yeah, uh, and the Chaton was trying to block them out, but they were very fast and with just two blockers on the number, it was a bit difficult to prevent this very efficient jammer who's been showing consistency uh, in their jamming ability, in their speed and their strength during this whole weekend. So we could commend that because we are that's the third game of the weekend and they certainly are exhausted while they call it off uh, after scoring three little points for Vienna, who is trying to reduce the gap with 21 points now for Vienna and still 33 for Namur Roller Derby. Yeah, straight up in front. Uh, Namur, though, uh, yeah, like we mentioned maybe earlier, we can mention again. Uh, Namur have so far, after game five, we're doing game six now, after game five have two wins. Madrid also has two wins and more points in the difference, but it's going to come down to the amount of wins. Therefore, if Namur again wins this game uh, today, uh, they will have won. They'll be in the first, I'll, I'll say it this way, they'll be won, but they'll be the first place competition. Speaking of which, you'll get to listen to the lovely people person of the Toxic Lady uh, 
a little bit before a quarter to two, we have our award ceremony. So we're not waiting till the day is over to have a award ceremony. We're having it after the six games. So don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. And we'll try and read some of your comments if we can. Uh, what's going on over there? Do you see any? Oh, you have your phone over there. Can I have see? my phone. So we have I saw, see, yeah. Yes, two people uh, for Vienna. Uh, it's Venom from Vienna. Women in Serbia. Okay, you are talking to each other. Uh, but it's very nice. Please do talk to each other. Don't forget to share. There's 67 of you on the stream now. It is less. Share out the stream. Uh, yes. uh, like, subscribe, super stickers, <laughs> super chats, super fragile, casualistic, elixpialidocious, whatever you wow. do online. You're going to reveal how old we are. To I know, yeah. Very to, young. Quote, to quote Mary, <laughs> Mary Poppins, yeah. That but song exists in French too, but that's the, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> uh, or, or maybe not. <laughs> it's super califragilistic, expidelilicieux. <laughs> wow, I'm very <laughs> impressed. I am not going to compete with Nasty Move in that regard no. because you're the people I person. Can't. I'm the joker. I'm the joker <laughs> this weekend. We're getting risk. We're lighting up again, lining up again. Nino and November Pain. November Pain for Vienna. Nino and oh, gets a good takeout. Oh, I got excited on that one. Yeah, exactly. You did too. That yeah. was Toremoto going, hang on a second. Because Nino takes a lot of the, takes whatever the inside line, but oh my. Yeah, and especially because there were only two blockers from Vienna, uh, but now just one. So actually, another one was that. So it's the Nino against standing. Toremoto, the one very good blocker. And uh, no, because they're busy helping their own jammer. So it helps Nino to just slide on the outside very easily. Yeah, you can tell too, they're like, I can't help. But then they're asking for a wall for help so that they can, they can squish the other uh, players. I, I know I I've been through what they've had to do with, so I know exactly what's going on. Uh, um, but we're not going anywhere. We have everything in front of us, though. Number eighty-two. That's yeah. Again, November pain. Not really going anywhere. Yeah, we have a uh, cutting being whistled to I don't know who and Nino uh, having made uh, their first scoring pass and. Uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, making the second scoring pass, uh, reaching out now 41 points with uh, most, uh, and it's now in power jam. I didn't see that, but November Pain is sitting in a penalty box right now, and all power the blockers jam. from Vienna are back on the track. Yeah, well, well spotted uh, power jam then for Nino. Uh, but Nino is uh, having a, a tough time for all of uh, one and a half seconds. Vienna trying to get in there, number 24. Oh, good take out, but they went out themselves. You know, you, you do that on your tippy toe. Yeah, it's frustrating. Oh, and they're also going to the box. I really feel for number 24 there, Vienna or Orgy. Uh, yeah, I've been in their spot <laughs> before. You're so proud of your takeout, and then you go out yourself, and then you do something wrong, and oh, yeah. it's a tough time. But Vienna, Vienna is showing a lot of strength. I mean, they're going to want to get more points, but Namir is really killing it in this jam. Yeah, very good action of Bella Ciao, who was blocking on their own. Uh, Nino, while also trying to uh, withstand the force of Aline, who was trying to help their jammer out. And uh, actually, Aline is being sent to the penalty box. There was a lot of penalties this past two jams. Yeah, Haven't you noticed, uh, Natis? Nasty? Yeah, I did. Uh, it was quite busy, and uh, now it, it's busy. Now we've got uh, two, two, two. So we're going to have a very thin pack on the track. We're going to have a bit of a discussion. Our team timeout on the orange side. Certainly, it is time to recover because they've been doing a lot of penalties this past few jumps. So I think it's a good time to uh, take a time to breathe and uh, recover. Um, and how we talked about our sponsor today? Tell me, tell me more about them. I would like to. Uh, it, uh, we have three main sponsors for this tournament. We have La Wall uh, Wallonie Infrastructure and La Région Wallonne, which uh, grant a, um, awarded a grant for the organization of the event. Thank you so much. We also have La Ville de Namur, uh, who is the city of Namur, and who is the partner who helped us to uh, book this wonderful big venue of Tabora in the city center of Namur, highly accessible by uh, train and buses, which is really appreciated. And Absolutely. the third sponsor is Qualias, which is a shop for Band-Aid and other medical equipment, which we surely do need in World of Derby, do we? Yeah, we absolutely do, and you can't you can't go without too. That's also really really important. It is a beautiful hall, and we're gonna say it again. It's the first time, the first edition of the skate around that's actually happening in the city of Namur, and everyone that's from Namur has repeated that all weekend. <laughs> it's a really big deal, and I 
absolutely hope that we have that chance to be here next year, but we'll see, of course. We'll see. Now we have Gilles and Anxian jamming respectively for Namur and for Vienna. We have uh, very small walls because we have only two blockers of each team right now on the track with four of them. Or four or three of them, if I'm mis I was mistaken. Yeah, no, Syn uh, Syntax no. was trying to move uh, L'Enroule out of the way just to mess with their head. <laughs> But uh, the jam was called off. Oh, we got a tumble. Everyone, everyone taking a tumble. And I believe, I wasn't sure, is uh, Gil Gillis going for a back block? Oh, yeah, I saw it right. Gillis is going to have a sit down. That means power jam for your friends in orange on the other side. Yes. I really enjoy the coach, the coach's uh, orange uh, as well, too. I think, I don't know if you can see it on your screen here. Oh, uh, what? A, but there's some serious orange going on on the, <laughs> on the Viennese bench, I have to tell you that much. It's now a power start in which uh, definitely um, uh, Flisby is will will and is uh, taking advantage has. because <laughs> has yes past kidding, tense kidding, everything kidding, happens in just kidding. a few seconds milliseconds <laughs> in World Derby uh, because they made their uh, initial pass and they also made their first scoring pass with uh, only Chaton and Aline uh, uh, now joined by. Um, Batmash and blocking for Namur with very active offense going from the orange blockers. And that's good news for Vienna because Vienna now has a chance to score some points on the board with a little bit less interference from Namur, but I really mean just only a little. It's not a euphemism. Uh, there we go. Look, that having, having a longer scoring pass, as we've just seen, that's good news for Vienna. So let's keep our eyes on Flisby at the moment as they come in for a third scoring pass, which is good news for them. It is, definitely. And uh, we still have a very strong one of Amur, but they... Oh, did they? Okay. You're I seeing I too thought, many things at once. I've, yes, too many <laughs> things at once. I was like, oh, they're going to the penalty box. No, 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 it no, was no, whistled no. to a Vienni Viennese blocker. It was a happy and whistle. Pixie Dust just made three scoring pass during this jam, which allows Vienna yeah, Rotary to reach 30, 33 points. We still have a 20 points difference with Namur with, uh, with 53 to 33. And I said happy whistle. That's that's not fair because I, I thought it was the end, the one of the end of the jam, but it is the one. So I'll take that back. Obviously, it's not happy if uh, Vienna gets a penalty. Uh, Nino and Pixie Fox up against each other. Nino skates easily out in the front. And again, uh, yeah, too many people in the box. Let's, let's uh, have a little bit less of that. More people on track. But as I say that, uh, oh, we've got all the fun stuff. We've got someone's uh, knee uh, protector falling kneecap. off. <laughs> I can't say, no, it's not a kneecap, so I can't say that. That would be really dangerous if I said that. It's not a kneecap. Oh, I, a, my English is so bad. It's okay, hon. The kneecap would, I don't want to scare anyone. Okay. It's inside the, the, the body, right? So it, it's not. There is something I should do. I don't know what exactly. Hang on. Uh, we were just ta taking care of a small technical difficulty. We have about uh, six minutes left uh, in this uh, first half. Namur Roller Derby putting a nice uh, eight points on the board. And uh, no, Vienna had a good time at 33, but Namur is very clearly in front right now. And that's, uh, that's quite a point difference if we consider how that will be going into the second half. So what I like to say is I like to say, imagine what would happen or imagine how that's going to happen uh, with the discussion in the locker room. Like, okay, what are we going to do to make sure, our, to make sure our, our, uh, we're still in front? And what, are, what can we do to get back into the game? That's going to be the discussion in the second half. Indeed, tell us about L'Enroule uh, jamming and Pixie Fox. Yeah, L'Enroule is uh, uh, as a jammer for the first time during this game behind uh, uh, the jammer line, but Pixie Fox already has taken the lead and trying to make their first scoring pass, which they just, just did, while L'Enroule is still being uh, stuck at the end of the pack and has no pivot to give their cover to. Oh no. Which just happened. Oh, that was very nice to see. Tinker was getting out of the penalty box and very ah. swiftly just Isn't that took. beautiful? It was very beautiful. Just in front of us, which is always nice. Uh, <laughs> and, a, and a bit frustrated. Like, I didn't have time to put it on, but I, yeah. I, I could really feel that. And they were about beautiful. to enter the, the pack as well. Uh, it was Damn. very beautiful. Very Dang. swift uh, taken, took. 
I don't know. Yeah, the very swift uh, pickup. I don't know. Oh, it, was yeah, just, it was very swift. Everything was just very swift. <laughs> it's a swift but that was, game. That was, that was really for nice you to watch. That today, was <laughs> swift. Yeah, we, yesterday we had a lot of surgical with our colleague uh, Dark Pistol. But today we're having a lot of swift. That's uh, that's really good too. The teams, of course, are more arrested. Eh? They're both playing their first game of the day, or their only game of the day, too, uh, to be honest. Yeah. So that's interesting as well. Gillis and Anxion. Gillis in the front, Gillis, Gillis, Gillis with the big L. That's it. Uh, Star Stash uh, for Vienna, but you know, that's not fooling anybody. Of course, we're always going to try because in a split second, you may be able to get through. Uh, Anxion still trying. Uh, Bat Smash uh, trying to get up. Pivot, pivots are getting each other's business uh, with the shoulders. Uh, that's always a lot of fun. Still, though, uh, Vienna not being able to get out. And uh, Gillis out in the front getting some fantastic uh, block from Panty Breaker and friends there in the front. That's also good. Orgy's also in there. Oh, and we're finally out of the pack there for Vienna. Yeah, with two of the Namur blockers who were sent to the penalty box, uh, it's uh, a bit easier to get through. And they were trying to uh, make it, uh, make something out of it, but of course, Gillis called it off after having one scoring pass for Namur, uh, 65 for Namur and 33, 38 for Vienna. And that means, again, we only have uh, three minutes left. So just, just uh, yeah, three minutes left to intermission. Be sure to like, subscribe, buy super stickers, uh, buy super chats, make us happy so we're able to pay for this stream, uh, which costs a pretty penny, and we're very, very happy to supply. Thank you very much for everyone. Uh, there's, I think there's just two people on the chat that are talking to each other, but you, you keep doing that. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep giving you the game. Nino and Flisby. With Nino uh, taking uh, the lead uh, and uh, calling it off after seeing uh, well, yeah, the, 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 the orange pajama coming. It's something that happens. There was a multiplayer block that was whistled. We can see two, two blockers, in the box. blockers from That's the Vienna team. <laughs> I think it's been a lot of penalties. I can't wait to uh, for the intermission to have a look we'll at the board. I'm going to. Um, oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do, we're gonna do We're going to try and do that. I think our colleague can be able to bring that up in any case. Sitting back up again, we, we have, have uh, Lonroul jamming for an Amur and who uh, is trying to take advantage of uh, uh, the two blockers. Uh, on, but we certainly have Teromoto, who is, uh, has been a very consistent blocker and had recycled uh, Lonroul at the end of the pack. And she is now out of it, while we still have Pixie Fox being very efficiently being uh, blocked by the Namur blockers while Lanroule is making their first scoring pass and yeah. the two Viennese uh, blockers are back, back on the track. Yeah. There we go. That's And they went straight into a wall and by the time you've set up Pixie Fox was there in the back. Let's see if that no, no points in the last scoring pass for a Namur and they're going to have a, that discussion uh, between for the Vienna. outside pack ref yeah, for Vienna. So I'm looking at that at the moment because we can get the point sometimes there faster. So you can go, yep, 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 yep. So that's our colleague Chuck. And we ha it's a no. no. It's, an, it's a no pointer. With Gilles and November Pain and jamming for Namur and for Vienna, very good action on the, the blocker Pimus, uh, preventing uh, November Pain to take the lead, even though she was really almost out. What did you see, Nasty Moves? I was just hoping that cutting the track penalty would not happen to November Pain, but they were very track aware and managed to get uh, out of the position they were in uh, in time. So that's what I saw, that's all. But they're being recycled too, and they're going to try for a star stash in the meantime. Whereas uh, Gillis is stuck in a really nice wall of people, uh, including Terramoto and always Ultra on the other side. Look at that. That's, they're right in front of us. So <laughs> it's be able it's to see beautiful to see. It's painful to see. It's wonderful to have a, such a close look. And uh, Gillis is being pushed out of the Bella track Chow, and recycled yeah. very far away by Bella Chao. Uh, very efficient. 
Yeah, wow. we're liking that. Efe efficient and swift. That's uh, two days. And look, every everybody's got a wall and everybody's got a, a tripod. <laughs> and every yeah, a tripod. And they're going the back and they're trying again. That means that you know blockers are doing what they're supposed to do. Look at that. Look, you just just keep them just keep them there. Keep them busy. Run down that clock. November Payne getting out of the pack now is not lead, but yeah, you know, it would be nice if they scored some extra points. They definitely need some going into the end of the second half for now. Four points for Namur on this last jam and everybody cheering on everyone's side. And they could be, they can be cheering. I hope you are cheering as well oh, at, home yeah, cheering at home because it is, it is a very good game, very exciting to see. So we are coming into intermission. That's it for us for the moment, 73 to 42. En français, on peut le dire tous les deux. Namur Roller Derby est devant euh, l'équipe de Vienne avec 73 points ou 73 points pour les gens de, de, de Belgique. Et euh, Vienne, euh, 42 pour l'instant, euh, quand, quand même une assez différence, mais on va voir comment ça va se passer, bien sûr, dans la, la deuxième moitié. Je, et si je ne me trompe pas, nous avons un maximum de 16 points, 12 points qui ont été maximés en, en une seule, euh, en une seule euh, jam. À propos de jam. Jam. <laughs> jam. We got this as a gift today. Uh, toxic Lady made some jam, some real jam, and we all got that as a gift. So I want to show it on the stream for posterity. <laughs> we have jam. That was our If you ever come bag. back to Namur and I'm uh, THA again and we'd like to be on the speakers team, please do join and I'll make sure to uh, gift you with some jam for my own garden. Let's see uh, each other. We're going to go. We're going to go minutes. for a bit. Yeah, we'll be back. So yeah, yeah there's jam, jam. <laughs> <laughs> Please do share uh, all the links to the stream while we are away. We'll see you in a bit. We're back. I'm Nasty Moves. I'm joined by Toxic Lady, our wonderful tournament head announcer. And we've just finished uh, the first half of the second game of the day, which has Namur Roller Derby playing against Vienna Roller Derby. This is the last game of this official tournament between the four teams. We have uh, Namur has been leading the first half time of the game with 73 points at this point and 42 for Vienna. We have seen very strong action, very fast, and everybody is tired but still full of energy. Yeah, you can do both. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I was talking to people that will remain uh, unknown, but I uh, know I'm being silly. Uh, they were saying that it, Namur was saying it's a lead, but it's not the most comfortable lead. And I can understand that because, of course, Namur at the moment uh, in the entire tournament has uh, one win. If they win this, uh, they'll, no, sorry, two wins. If they win this, they'll have uh, enough wins to win the tournament. That's a lot of win, win, win there. Uh, Madrid will then be uh, in second place, but we'll let's see how it goes first. And of course, if Vienna wins, it'll be the first uh, win of the tournament. And that could also be a wonderful motivation. We have no idea what's going to go in uh, two, and that's why we're here to tell you all about it too as well. Yeah, I fo totally forgot to have a look at the penalties um, when uh, we were on it. But has, let's have a look right now. We have, um, uh, well, some uh, two, with two players on the Namur team. Yeah, that but they're have doing heavy blocking. Can I defend Aline and uh, Sailor Mean there? Of course uh, you Heavy can. blocking. And how is it on the orange side of things with Vienna? Oh, we've got Orgy that's on hot. But again, that's also a blocker. Like I used to be, just just hitting everything. And that's uh, kind of nice to see too as well. So, so not too bad. We're good. Not too bad. And we are back on the game, even though it's not moving quite fast. It is on. We have Ninon and Flisby jamming respectively for Namur and for Vienna with a full, a full crew of blockers on the track. Again, very fast action, very offensive. And we have uh, Flisby who has taken the lead just in the first turn, while we have Lorul who has, as a pivot, has just taken on the cover, the star cover. And actually, the jam is continuing because usually that goes to be a call off. But we, they did have a chance to score points. I see one point now for Vienna. Vienna needs all the points, obviously, to get back in there. No points for Namur. Even, sure uh, even though the jammer really did a nice tumble over there and really tried to get the hips as far away as possible. We are just on the second jam now. And... We just have one Viennese uh, blocker sitting in the penalty box. Yeah, well, that box is going to get busier, and uh, it shouldn't. Gillis and Pixie Fox up against each other. 
respectively for Namur and Vienna. And some, some great walls there because no one's going anywhere fast like, like we did in the beginning. We're just holding it up to the pivot line. So that means that there's just not enough space. Oh, now we're scrambling around a little bit. Everyone's going to get moved around. There's some uh, gillis being recycled to the back a little bit. And it's like we're starting over again in, a, in, a, in an odd way, or repeating it. But that just means fantastic work by all the blockers. And that's always, always fun to watch. I see it grumping up was doing some great work with Jackie. As I say that, I hear some whistling. So we do have a 2-7. Oh, cutting the track penalty for Gillis. So power jam then for Vienna. That's uh, stuff. That's not good stuff. Good stuff, depending on what team you're on. Good news for Vienna. Vienna uh, going to try and just move all the blockers, do kind of like the, tra the freight train thing, just moving everyone around. And kind of working out. Let's see, Gillis. Sorry. Uh, hop. Yes, I... Um, it's okay, Gillis. Gillis, Pixie Fox. We're looking at it. Pixie Fox being recycled. recycled again, yeah. Yeah, by uh, Chaton at the end of uh, the pack. And uh, we have... Wow. Uh, G is going back to the penalty box. Oh, I didn't that's see twice. how. Yeah, no, I think that's that bad maybe news. they made a mistake getting out of it. I don't know. Uh, we have also the Viennese uh, pivot sitting in the penalty box right now, which leaves Pixie Fox, uh, Pixie Fox, um, taking four points. First scoring pass right now with the Viennese uh, blockers who are lining up to try to do an offense, uh, even though Pixie Fox was trying to take it on the outside. And this is the end of the jam. We have a power start now for yeah, Vienna. I was, I was looking at that. If you're going to move all your blockers to the outside, I wouldn't be skating there. But then again, I think they were distracted by the call off at the same time. So that's fair enough. And a, a good result, of course, four more points there for Vienna. So Vienna is inching up forward to Namur. If they can shut down Namur for a longer time. Excuse me. <laughs> that'll be, oh, it's choking me up. Uh, for a longer time, that'll be good news for Vienna. I think we have a team timeout. We saw some sort of timeout. Um, top, top, top. Uh, with uh, referees running around, uh, we are trying to see. I think it's the 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 the. the we're fixing Namur. the scoreboard. Yeah, yeah, we're fixing the scoreboard. Too, and sure. and the fact that it was sent back to the penalty box the second time. Everybody is running around the penalty box and trying to Three. arrange that. <laughs> so I think it's an official timeout. It's not ah, team okay. Timeout. So we, we need are, to make sure. Yeah, we, we are really making sure that everybody is on track. Players on the track, NSO on the track of their uh, proper paperwork. And we are back in the game. We are entering now the third jam of this second half time with Julius jamming for Namur and November Payne jamming for Vienna. November no, Payne doing the, tip, the tippy toe things. I was being mesmerized by that, made sure they came back to the right place. Uh, is also being taken out, has to get around, and is going to the box. That's power jam then for Namur. Le jam de puissance. Le jam de puissance. <laughs> Weird the power translation, jam. but it is happening. Julius is back on the track and uh, is actually the first uh, uh, jammer to, t t to uh, get out of it and uh, takes the lead. I can't believe that actually happens. Getting, it, we're getting more complicated jams now. They're not, they're not as easy. And everyone trying to move everyone out of the way. I saw some Sailor Mean 127 there, just trying to make sure, like anything, hitting anything orange out of the way, basically. <laughs> but oh, Torimoto, so you know, Torimoto, Torimoto was very efficient. Yeah. And, oh uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're solid, they're quite solid. And uh, November Payne there with the, uh, the, the star in the hands. Uh, star in the hands, uh, still trying to get through, while uh, Namur puts another four points on the board. Misdirection being whistled to the Namur pivot, while we have uh, Gilles trying to uh, get a second scoring pass that is now done, which uh, allows Namur to reach um, 81 points. We have uh, a, a Viennese blocker being set to the penalty box for I don't know. For, uh, for being naughty, as we call it. <laughs> I'm serious, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it does sound weird for French speakers to see being naughty. Uh, well, I don't know. Dark Pistol can say it, so we can say it as yeah, well. Yeah, I don't That's know. I feel, I feel like Mary Poppins again. Like, oh, they're being oh, naughty. Oh, you're, you're, you're back to Mary Poppins again, too. It's a word that I associate with that kind of movie. Okay, now we know, we, know, we know where we're going now. We know where we're going with this, yeah. 
I'm going to start singing again, but you don't want that because you won't want me back next year. There's <laughs> a, a nice 10 points was scored there by Namir Roller Derby as they go towards the 100 mark. Vienna has still to get to about 50. And yeah, we can see it right now on your screen. Uh, people having to think about what they did wrong while they're sitting in the box. Um, <laughs> And still it's still power jam, yeah. For power start for, for Nino uh, yeah. because uh, we still have uh, November Payne who is sitting in the penalty box from the previous jam. Uh, we still have very efficient uh, Viennese uh, blockers who are trying to prevent uh, the Namur jammer to go through the pack. There's four of them, they're efficient, they're willing, and even though we also have very good blockers on the Namur side, the Viennese blockers certainly are very solid right now. Syntax 531, uh, the pivot, trying to make sure nothing goes on, keeping everyone together. And now we're just going to try and envelop the Namur, just try and throw them, throw them off course in one way or another. Nino on the outside, that was beautiful. They only, they only need like a wheel space to get through. It's quite fantastic to watch. Uh, yeah, and also very good work from the Namur uh, blocking teams who managed to isolate the Viennese blocker. That was very efficient. Less people on the track, easier to get through them. Yeah, November Payne though with a stash in the back and Namur has pretty much figured that out as we run down the jam clock. And uh, Nino having a tough time, but Nino knows what to do. Nino's just going to keep doing it until, until it works. But they've got four blockers to contend with and that's a lot of work usually. We can see that on your screen right now. That's some, that's some really great stuff. Which allows November Payne to actually go through the pack and make their initial pass. And you know, having two scoring pass, waiting for instructions from uh, the bench and deciding to call it off after scoring eight points, which allows Namur to reach 91 in Vienna 47. What do you think so far, Nasty Moves? Well, I think that Vienna needs to get in there. And I noticed that that also means that for Namur that they're having uh, multiple scoring passes. Nice. So that goes really fast. Nice power stance right now from all the Viennese <laughs> yeah, <they're just, laughs> uh, players. Yeah. Do you know what that's called in English? I'm going to teach that's called arms akimbo. A kimball. When you when you hold your it's uh I, it sounds like something from Japanese, but when you hold your arms like that. Uh, we have a team timeout requested from Namur, and because Namur is now on the other side of the, on your screen too, the, on the on this side of your screen obviously, and we're going to sort that out. So they're going to have a talk with each other. Like, what can we do? What can we not do? How to organize? Look at that dress! I eh? seriously, <laughs> that, that dress. I know, I know. It's like a wonderful coach. I'm telling you, coach. Our people are personalities all the time too, as well. Uh, well, the the facts remain. We need to fix the track too, as well. We have people that are been doing that all weekend with bits of tape, and that's been an another group of an, of um, volunteers been doing a great job too, as well. And the. The truth of the matter is uh, the next jam will be started with one blocker in the box and that's going to be Namur's pivot in any case. That's what's going on at the moment. How that about the screen? Anyone? Uh, oh my god, that power jam kill from Vienna. That Yamina was really liking that too. People are enjoying the blocking as well. Hopefully people are still watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, buy Super Chat, buy Super Sticker, and, and we'll do our best. And join us. 69 join us of viewers right now on the chat. Let's not make any jokes about it because we're not no. corny. No. We're nasty, we're nasty no. and toxic. I was born in 1969. <laughs> that's not a joke. That's, that's really it's okay, a fact. You, you walked Useful in, fact. You walked into that one. I now. had no idea what you I was getting myself into. into that one. Yeah, that's true. We have uh, Tinker and Reckless Spice uh, jamming respectively both Namu and Vienna. I think it's the first time we've seen uh, the number six Reckless Spice. I believe so. Uh, in this game, and it's a jammer that uh, comes on uh, quite late in the game. It's been happening also yesterday, uh, number six, and uh, and they are crying quite eager and energetic to uh, take the lead which is now done uh, while we have uh, Tinker uh, uh, did I miss a, a power I didn't miss anything else no you didn't but what Reckless you Spice. certainly didn't miss is this absolute <laughs> nice scoring pass yeah. uh, from Rex Spice she comes in and she scores everybody's cheering up in here in the in the hall and it's very nice to hear yeah it's absolutely wonderful for that kind of thing to happen too. We are getting ready now for the sixth jam. We have 21 minutes to go. It is the last game of this Skate Around uh, Tournament, fifth edition in Namur. 
With we're, two, yes. Oh, we're two, yeah, we're two. No, Gillis and Pixie Fox. You were looking at the box again. You got to stop looking at the box here. You're, you're having your coaching brain there. Let's, <laughs> uh, let's have a look at the track. There's one uh, forearms penalty so far. Ooh, that's going to be Namur's pivot going into the box. That's uh, Chaton. And in the meantime, uh, the lead is picked up by Pixie Fox. Doing, doing some solid jamming this weekend as well. We recognize it. We keep saying the same name over and over. That means that we've noticed them. Obviously, we noticed. Oh, look, a little apex jump. That always fun. A yeah. nice little apex jump. Yeah, it was, it was very really difficult uh, uh, for Knappi, for Namur, to uh, block by herself because she was, at that point, the only jammer. Oh, so much fun. <laughs> always fun. No. Uh, yeah, it's always. Uh, and it's interesting. How can you uh, face a Pixie Fox? And we have, uh, what do we have? The we have team. a power jam for Namur, as, unfortunately, Pixie Fox picked up a cutting the track penalty. If and I picked up a penalty in any case, so that's, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that means Gillis has a chance to bring it over the top, as we say, uh, with about 50 seconds left in the jump. Yeah, and at that point we had uh, I was we have all the Namur blockers were on the track, but one is being sent back to the penalty box. Still very difficult for Gillis to get through, even though it's a power jam. There is pressure, and she is being recycled at the end of the pack. Yeah, and then Jammer standing in the box, we can tell you that, they've seen it as well. Gillis, uh, a little bit tired in this jam, but trying to get it together. Coming, just keeps coming at it though, though, but like Vienna's got their number for sure, because there's four of them there. There's only two blockers, like you said, Namir, you can't do that much when you're two, especially when you're split up the way they are. Gillis keep pushing through the middle as we seriously run down this clock. This jam just feels like a long one. Every, almost everyone from Namir is back on track, but they didn't have a chance to really do, uh, collectively do much. Yeah, it was a very exciting jam. So many, so many things happened. I was like, this is only the fifth shiny, jam. Shiny, shiny. <laughs> so many things happened. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I don't know what to say, actually, because really? I'm mesmerized by all oh, this uh, very nice uh, <laughs> action. It's beautiful. <laughs> We're very lucky to be able to watch. We see this as an official review being requested by Team Orange and uh Are you sure yeah not team oh yeah team orange <laughs> yeah team orange. anything no it's okay i don't mean to be no that's good <laughs> see the little round thing but our colleague is uh definitely yeah there we go we're gonna find out what it is at least one of our colleagues is gonna find out and if if and when we find out we'll tell you about too as well uh for the moment we can just uh repeat to you that we're gonna have an award ceremony uh, at a quarter to two today, so like 15 minutes. So join us for 15 minutes. Our toxic lady will be able to like say nice things about all the teams and hand out awards for this uh, tournament. And don't leave after that. Don't leave, seriously. Quarter to three, the Namir Glorious Bastards with our very own Mr. Odang that was here all weekend, also known as Arnaud, will be playing Ghost Valley. And after that, because we want four games the whole day, Namir Roller Derby C, where you, Toxic Lady, will be playing against La Meute, the B team of Metz, uh, France. So there's still a lot of roller derby going on. Yeah, there's still a really lot of roller derby. I will be playing with the different names, though, because I don't have my official t shirt, so I will Doesn't be matter. La Plante. La Plante. And oh, I've been okay. complaining oh. for weeks about this name. I was Ooh like, la la. this is the worst roller derby name ever. No one, nobody wants to be La Plante. Also, oh, okay. we can thank uh, La Croix Rouge de Belgique. Yes. Uh, which has been our medic during the whole weekend. Very efficient, very nice people sitting next to us. And thanks to all the volunteers and the photographers that have to uh, make this wonderful tournament happen. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, and we have we'll also talk about the, the SCAR committee. I'd like to call them the STAR committee, but the SCAR committee, the people that really, really did a lot of the work uh, this weekend to make sure everything was shut up. And before. And that's K, Lanroule, Pimous, Ninon, Aline, you recognize some of the names, obviously. Chaton, Chef, Gillis, Buzz, and Just Flem, all people from Namur, not all from the same team, got together and made sure that this tournament, and it's a along lot of work. with everyone else, made the. Yeah, it, trust it me, is it a lot is. Of work. And it takes so much time. And then when it's over you're like oh my god i can't believe it, it went by so fast <laughs> it or, did. that's how it feels but we're very very grateful to what we're going to call the scar committee of the fifth edition for all their their hard leg work so we are getting ready after this uh, for the seventh jam of the second half time of the last game <laughs> you're so excited about that. i am i the am the last game of the tournament but not the last game of the day but that yes. doesn't matter 
Tell us what you see on track. In the we meantime. have uh, Nino and Flisby jamming respectively for Namur and for Vienna with the orange jammer getting out first of uh, the pack. Very fast jamming over there. Nino close to their tail and they certainly don't want to let them uh, score any points. And uh, Pibus uh, blocker from Namur just pushed the skater, the orange skater uh, jammer out of uh, the track. And I don't think there has been any points scored i'm not sure we are still None. waiting yeah said the uh, yes yeah, but i was waiting for the ref to, oh, you uh, i love watching the, the hands <laughs> hands in the air but they do care so it's a different one so no points uh, yeah no points pas de point zero point very sad for now but that does could mean that that small pause gave people time to to reset a little bit on the teams so let me take you uh, on a tour we've got bat smash and action action straight out of the gate Picks up the lead for Vienna. One blocker down for Vienna. In the meantime, the pack is scrambling because that jammer just decided to get it fast. Vienna really happy about that jam because they managed to score points and they're moving towards Namir Roller Derby. So that's all of three points. You can tell uh, of the joy on the orange orange team. We haven't reached the, the century uh, mark. Point. You, you, How do you, you say you that in English? On n'a pas atteint les 100 points alors qu'il reste 17. We, century mark is, is a bit exaggerated. We can say the 100 point mark, or, but century just sounds nicer. Uh, but we're not there yet, so you got to hang in there. <laughs> <laughs> Jillis, Reckless Spice, tell us about what you see on the track. I see uh, almost everybody except one uh, blocker from the Viennese team, and we have a lot very strong and fast tripods moving from one uh, side of the track out the other, and, and really trying uh, to keep everyone on the track and not moving outside of the pack. We have Reckless Spice who is really pushing their way and trying to get rid of the blockers. And uh, we have Jillis also being stuck behind uh, the number 247 from Vienna being very efficient. Everybody is stuck in there. <laughs> stuck in there. Stuck in traffic. How's Namur traffic? Is it a little bit like Namur traffic on a Monday? I don't know. During I'm not from Namur. <laughs> there you go. Okay, we've cleared that up online, and we know that. But uh, everyone in the hall, obviously, taking for Namur, very happy about Gillis. And we just got a nice star pass there, picked up by a Reckless Spice. That's uh, of uh, Vienna, of course. And we're going to find out how that plays out. And I'm saying it slowly because I expected a call off, and we got one. It's actually One. Toremoto who took the... Toremoto uh, number eight. You're, yeah. you're absolutely right. That's who the captain. Took, yeah. Who took the, the Thank, star. There we go. You have to check all your information on the... 10 screens in front of us to make sure that's okay. Namir picked up one point in that last one, though. Vienna, not so much. It was very exciting because we had 55 seconds before the lead was taken. Very long uh, you know, time before the lead was taken. Yeah, you, you, you want to get it in the first 20 seconds, maybe. But yeah, if you take a whole minute, yeah, then that means, again, the blocker is doing a great job. Uh, we have Nino and Pixie Force jamming for Namur and for Vienna with uh, Nino getting out of the pack just uh, uh, before their first turn while we have a forearm being whistled to a Namur blocker and Nino comes back for uh, trying to make the uh, scoring pass and faces the captain Toremoto which has been a very consistent and very strong blockers and uh, also number 100, uh, one, one, five, Panty Breaker. Yeah, I know, Panty Breaker getting into the business, but that uh, you, you said the magic word and unfortunately you're being sent to the box. The box still very busy, I know we're not supposed to look at it, but I always wonder where the, where, where the people on the truck and uh, yeah. Nino doesn't care though, Nino's like, yeah, I'm just gonna move you out of the way. They're gonna keep pushing till they get through, that's, uh, and they're even looking at their bench now, uh, what they're gonna do. Wow, one blocker down, Nino, okay, I'm gonna keep going, that's fine. Yeah, you did pick up some points there. Namir already with two scoring passes. Torimoto to the box? Yeah. See, you, you jinxed that one too. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, everybody. I I'm wish kidding. I had that kind of power. I'm kidding. I'm no, going to keep it I'm for kidding. my next game. <laughs> you do that, yeah. You just concentrate on your game, though. Look at that. Four, three scoring passes for Namir. That's some, some good times. But Vienna picked up some points, too, as well. And the audience are really enjoying that. I believe uh, the... Uh, I believe, I, I believe in all kinds of things. Uh, the, the Viennese coach is in the middle asking for a team timeout. There we go. Team timeout Vienna it, for the moment. 
taking yeah. a breather? Yeah, when we have uh, oh. less than 14 minutes on the clock on the last game, uh, we have people cheering for Malmö, Malmö. Yeah, Malmö in Sweden. Malmö in yeah, Sweden. Mal Hi there. Malmö. Hello, Malmö. Thank you for following Hello. us from so far away. Hey. Do you have friends? Uh, of Do you have the, friends? During this tournament. <laughs> it's because, you know, the Sweden is not being represented. <laughs> Sweden? No, no, I got news for you. I got news for you. Sweden, Sweden is a country that's everywhere. Okay. They're stealth. They're, they're a little bit like the Norwegians. The Norwegians though they made the mistake of leaving chocolate that I know about but there could be Swedes you don't know you'll never know they're just everywhere okay, okay. Just, just assume that okay, assume so that that's just the way it goes please tell us uh, how you came across the tournament and uh, who uh, are you cheering uh, you yeah, for? for yeah, yeah. who are you cheering for uh, we're for? cheering for team uh, Dara Wolf and uh, company there uh, team, team Zebra and then uh, Namir very happy about everything and two blockers, no, it's true, one blo yeah, one blocker, one jammer. No, two blockers down, of course, for the next jam. Uh, busy, busy, busy box. Four, less than 13, yeah, less than 14 minutes there, 13.52 left. Uh, Vienna could pull a rabbit out of the hat. They need to just move up those points. And also, when they do get points, they need to shut down the mirror at the same time. That's uh, what we're going to look at. We have best match in November Pain, uh, jamming respectively for Namur and for Vienna. Uh, little switcheroo of blockers on the Vietnamese side uh, for, uh, from the penalty box with best match taking the lead quite fast while we have November Pain being recycled at the end of the pack. Best match coming back, having only two of the orange blockers uh, in front of them and manages to keep their, both their skates inside of the track even though they were pushed out while we have November Pain who manages to do also their initial Initial pass, four points being scored by Batsmash, trying to get through uh, a second time, but seeing that November Pain is coming, calls it off. So we have two scoring pass for Namur right now with seven points, 115 now for Namur, and still 68 for Vienna. Aline Namur says people in the, in the go Namur, go, go, go. Coucou Doppler. <laughs> Bonjour Doppler. Uh, hopefully he's, uh, that's our uh, main man here on the, uh, on the, yeah, watch what you press there online. Things are going to blow up. <laughs> we're trying to do too many things at once, but we like doing that in any case. So we're very happy. We got a shout out for part of our streaming crew. And oh, that was a bit of a tumble there taken by uh, Action. Action. Yeah, who was uh, jamming uh, for, or he is jamming, what I'm talking about, uh, for <laughs> Vienna and who has uh, taken the lead uh, during this 12th jam. It doesn't, uh, you know, when uh, Vienna takes the lead, they're really trying to make uh, the most of it. We have uh, the pack being recycled in front of Exion, but very strong. She pushes through and manages to make one scoring pass while we have uh, a star pass, uh, I think, that happened very blurry in front of me. Um, I think with uh, Chaton. Yeah, it was, is Chaton. Yeah. Abso you're absolutely right. But yeah, it, it was a bit of a blur. That's uh, definitely right. But they didn't have a chance to put the cover on. Therefore, uh, we're just going to get a whole bunch of people. Vienna are very happy about that, putting seven more points on the board. But look, they're, they're getting there. They need, they need a few long jams like they're doing now. And then they're going to get in Namur's... Uh, in, in their business, all up in their business, in a, in a good way. <laughs> that's what they want. <laughs> that's what they want. But, you know, but that's the thing. That's what they're aiming for. And, of course, Namir, what they want to do is they want to stay up in front the whole time and run, run the, uh, the, the big clock down. But we do have a, a while to go uh, as far as that's concerned. So Nino in, in the front and picks up, picks up the lead. And I'm having a look at everything. And more, no more whistling going on. Yeah, a whole bunch of whistling. People having a hard time maybe hearing their penalties. That's Alin going to have a sit down. And both jammers getting their reckless spice. I'm having a look. They're in the back somewhere. Yeah, they're, yeah. They, have been, they have been recycled many times at the end of the pack by very efficient Namur blockers. While we have Ninon, who has made one scoring pass and trying to go for another, with uh, uh, Rekha Spice having now made their initial pass. And uh, Ninon making signs and uh, calling it off. And just before uh, Rekha Spice went through the pack, so uh, the Vienna team didn't make any points on this uh, jam, whereas uh, Namur made two scoring pass, 123 for Namur and 73. It's a 50 points difference. That is, that is a big, that's easy announcer math, but that's, uh, that's good goodness. news for Namur, of course. Vienna, Vienna just needs to 
play their game, make sure they get to as far as they want. A team timeout was just requested by Namur, so we're going to deal with that. And I, uh, again, encouraging you to stay after this game. Shortly after this game, we're going to have the awards ceremonies for uh, the tournament that we've just played. Uh, this is the fifth edition. Uh, who knows who we're going to after that, but there's a lot of information uh, online about that. I wanted to just make a small point to make sure I got it right. Ghost Valley Roller Derby, which will also be playing against the Namir Glorious Bastards at a quarter to three, are a fun team, a combination of Lausanne, Switzerland, and Tonole Bay France. So that's a, a mixed team. That's kind of cool anyway. Yes. They're not affiliated with MRDA, but they do do stuff. So basically, if you want to watch some... More some masculine roller derby, some men's <laughs> roller derby, and you want to see. I could, I could. They were. I'll tell you. They were warming up, and they were skating up a storm already. So it's going to be a great, a great thing to watch. Having a good look at, at that uh, in a bit <clears> this <throat> afternoon. So much going on, and as I say that, the rolling whistle has been back. Yeah, we have some people cheering from Namur. Uh, go Namur, on the Namur online. Keep going. Don't hesitate go, go, to go. cheer and tell stuff on the chat that they can have a look at later. I'm really happy people are joining in. It's uh, always fun to be able to provide a, stern, uh, a stream. Uh, we spent a lot of I spent a lot of years spent a lot of years learning how to do this too, making sure that we can follow the game and keep always keep talking. <laughs> it's just a lot of talking. <laughs> We're off again. I'm gonna pick that one up. I see Bat Smash up against Pixie Fox. People were saying, you know, Bat Smash not gonna jam very much this weekend. Uh, has hello. jammed a little bit. Yeah, hello. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's pretty much how I felt. And Batsmatch now up in front. That pack is completely stretched out. Vienna has to leave them, uh, make sure that uh, she gets through and does get through for the lead. Pixie Fox, though, uh, nice, and, nice and stealth. Very stealth team with the smaller jammers that they're kind of tough to see. Everyone's all over spread out. And the Vienna orgy was trying to get in there and uh, move everything out of the way. And that just went really, really quick. And yeah. basically destroyed the little part of the track. The the parts of the track that get that get that have to be retaped are always kind of the same parts because that's that's where you get taken out. So a little bit on the inside, a little bit on the outside. Yeah, that's true. With track doctors being very efficient at uh, making sure that the track is back on track. Can we say that? Yes. Sounds very corny. Yeah, it does. <laughs> It does, but you know it's your tournament. And uh, Gillis is up against November Pain, extra blocker out of the box for Namir. There's still someone. No, no, no. We're all good. It's a ref. It's a ref. You're right. And from our angle, I got mistaken several times, we're thinking good. that we're it good. was uh, someone yeah, there. Yeah, but if I were in the box, I wouldn't be playing with a clipboard either. You're absolutely <laughs> right. We both need better glasses, but we're gonna do our best. Gillis being recycled, and it is November Pain. Who's picked up the lead for Vienna. Vienna? There we go. Yeah, we got Vienna. We have to have Vienna fans in there somewhere. I really hope there are Vienna fans uh, here in the audience too, of course. And uh, look, it's just a mess of blue and orange. November Payne picks up uh, scoring some points for for scoring pass. That's four. That's good news. You just want to pick up as many as possible. Like we saw yesterday in Madrid. Madrid did this huge jam at the end to try and get into the game. And unfortunately, it didn't pay off. But yeah, we've got people waving strange orange things. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to assume they're a fan. They're Team Orange, having come all the way from Vienna. Uh, yes. Some whistling going off. That's going to be number 247. Bella Ciao going to the box. And we have November Payne uh, uh, being stuck into the Namur blockers with, uh, with Torimoto, who's been trying to uh, do some offense and help the jammer out several times. Uh, but we had very, very strong action and strong blocking from the Namur team. And we have one uh, Viennese uh, blocker sitting in a penalty box entering the 16th jam of this tournament. We have seven and 36 seconds uh, sitting on the clock. Oh, this is our last minute. Uh it's I'm going to tell you, yesterday, hanging out with Dark Pistol, we did one that had like 29 jams. It just went on and on and on and on. It was pretty crazy. So this is, yeah, we went, but this is this is pretty relaxed so far. Speaking of not too relaxed, though, let's see. Oh, what happened there? We saw Action being taken out. Oh, they're, they're not lead. The lead is for Namir, is Nino in the back. And they're not even going to run it. They're just going to call it right away. Yeah, 
I didn't see what happened uh, because I was looking at skates and wondering if there was a cutting or was not a cutting. So I didn't see what happened. But you can't you ref from here. It's I'm not, not allowed. refing. I, I, I don't I, ref. I, yeah, but I know, I'm, but I'm still telling you. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I can no, still I'm, I'm feeling like a skater. Like, uh, uh, can I go back? or You get to skate. Kick? Yeah, I know. I, I get that too. I get like, oh, I would have done that as well. <laughs> but you're going to skate, concentrate on your, your skating. We're yeah. going to watch your skating. We'll, we'll, we may be nice to you later on. So that's... The way it's going to go. Bat smash and Flisby. So Bat smash, you know, jamming some more, getting the lead too as well. That's uh, wonderfully done. Uh, and the wall of orange uh, is just getting moved out of the way by Chateau and friends. Flisby is out. They usually get a lot. Of, and Bat smash, hands in the air, having a really good look at what's going on. Called it off. Did they call it off on time to avoid Vienna getting any points? That's the question. I want to have a look at what was going on. The jam ref was thinking the exact same thing. No points for Vienna, but we have a scoring pass of four points for Namur. Namur. Yes. So that's uh, how many? Look, the point difference. You can calculate that if you want. I can. Uh, it's a 50 <laughs> points difference still. <laughs> I was not looking at that. I set you up. I set you up. Nasty moves to make me mad right now. I set you up. We have less than six minutes left here in the last game of this tournament with Nino picking up lead from the inside and making it look easy. Yeah, but it's doubtful that it is. We of have course. very skillful uh, teams during this tournament. It's very nice to see Nino making uh, the, the scoring pass. Also coming uh, again, I mean, from the inside. Uh, we have, you know, walls that are a bit less strong because uh, they are, both of them were missing one blocker. Uh, the two blockers are back on the track right now. We have Pixie Foss who also made their initial pass while removing their helmet. And Nino sees that, calls it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and 611 was like sabotage. <laughs> that was sabotage going, oh, sorry, he hit the last minute. Because you can't stop your action. Oh, hang on a second. Is that? No, that's good. That's good. No, no oh, it is no. a sit down. You know, no, I was no, looking no. at Dar, Dar Wolf, uh, gave them a, a penalty, and they're going to have to sit that one out. Yeah. Yeah. I try, it's they called, try to be sorry. It's that called, sure. uh, you're going to help me out. It's called a. No, I'm not a ref. I can't change it. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> It's, it's very bad with I'll the signs. I'll, I'll, I'll tell the layman version. It's hitting someone after after you're yeah, allowed to do illegal so. Illegal engagement, I think. Yeah. We have to check I should, with someone. I should know. Please, it's if okay. you know better on the, on the chat, please correct us if we don't. Uh... We're too busy doing other things. <laughs> There's 26, 27 types of penalties. You you go figure them out. We're just making sure you know what's going on. Gillis and November Payne on the track for yeah. either team. For both teams, and we have Julius uh, pushing their way through, and it is not clear. And um, it's in no pass, no penalty, uh, which I'm never really able no pass, to. No pass, no point. No, yeah. That means they didn't pass all the, 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 the blockers, blockers that they need, but that means it's not illegal, so it's fine. And they can continue, but they're not lead because yeah. they need to pass and everyone. And the lead is still open. And we have a star pass uh, with the captain Toremoto who took the, the the cover. The lead is still open. I yep. I'm not sure why. Uh, it is because the first person that came out did not get the lead oh, okay. pass, so and the other person did the same thing. They both had the oh, same. Okay. Don't so worry the about lead it. is still open. Heavens. How about how about you just say <laughs> there's no lead jammer? Let's just there's leave no it at lead that. jammer. There's and no lead jammer. We're just gonna go the whole hog. Look at that. And Gillis went through and scored That's four all. points. Yep. That's all you need to know. Uh, Pivot wondering what they're doing there, but uh, Namir, the, no, because I mean, you're pushed out, but you want to make sure you stay in. So that's actually excellent track awareness from uh, Namir's Pivot. And then we've got everybody else getting into the mix there. Uh, grump, grumping up and C, which is a team player, trying to help Gilles. Gilles get some space through the middle. As Vienna uh, scores some points, Namir scoring points both teams, Namir more, Vienna a bit less. But still, this is a tough jam. It is very tough. It is very exciting. I'm just mesmerized by everything that's going on. We have uh, Gilles coming back uh, after two scoring pass, making it a third one. And uh, we have Toremoto uh, trying to get through and not managing more points. It's, what am I talking about? They managed to score two more points. So we have six points in this jam for Vienna points. and 12 yeah. for Namur Roller Derby. And I'm not going to do that kind of Well, math. here's the thing. Here's the thing. We had a two-minute jam. Let's have a look at the stuff. We had a two-minute jam, okay? Yeah. Because we had uh, people that got out, both jammers actually, when they got out of the pack, only managed to pass three blockers apiece. 
So we just kept it that way. And we just, we went the whole hog and both teams got points. That's kind of, uh, was complicated. Bat smash, Anxion now, uh, your jammers. We're looking to see who's going to get the lead. Everyone getting excited uh, in the hall. Oh, look at that. It's Anxion, number 19 for Vienna, picking up the lead, coming in for a scoring pass. But that pack is stretched out big time. Syntax wants to get back to their group. Star pass in progress, indeed. And we're going to uh, watch number 537, L'Enroule. L'Enroule. We just had the time to put on the cover, and then uh, and the, that's it. <laughs> the, it was it. Yeah, it but that, again, that just that's just what people do. I mean, you can't. You try something, the other team knows how to counter it, and it's it's a battle of wits, as I said. Who the game is is physical. We know that, but there's a mental game too as well. You're using all of yourselves. Yeah, three points there yeah. for Vienna. No, fair enough. I, I was just looking at them cool. myself. I know, because well, I'll tell you what, everybody everybody online's looking at them as well, so that's fine. Nino and Reckless Spice. Reckless Spice doing a bit more jamming in this game. Yes, uh, definitely, and succeeding, because each time that they come on the track to jam, they've been uh, quite efficient in uh, pushing uh, very... Uh, efficiently their way out of the pass while well, we still have a Nino who's trying the, to make the initial pass. Whoa! Taken off the helmet and the Viennese a wall just reforming in front of them just after the at the end of the first um, uh, turn. We have uh, everybody cheering up for uh, Reckless Spice and their very efficient jamming. Uh, lots of people excited in uh, the hall right now in this uh, lovely Namur afternoon. Six points scored by Vienna Roller Derby. I think they're happy because they're closer to the 100th uh, point. Mark. Well, yeah, because it's a psychological mark too as well. Absolutely. And speaking of Vienna, uh, they've requested a timeout for now and we don't have a lot of time left uh, in this game too as well yeah i didn't notice i was like what you're, you know why because you were too seconds you were too busy looking at shiny stuff again i'm we're too busy having a great time announcing with you i'm having that's yes, what i'm doing it was lovely it's lovely to announce with you it's lovely to have this level of gaming and yes. and fair play as well i have not Absolutely. seen uh, anyone complain uh, too much don't say it don't, oh, don't I'm say going to jinx stuff. stuff again it's been good it's I'm been good it's been good it's been good but it's been very nice. We have uh, the referees uh, talking right now during the team timeout. We have uh, 13 seconds, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Everybody we never cheering. Know. Everybody on the stand cheering. Everybody excited. I'm super excited for this last game, even though I'm freezing kind of a little bit. You gotta be kidding, because I'm actually too warm. So uh, we'll we'll share. Uh, we need to. Oh, no, I'm, warm. I'm very, very warm. I'm, I'm very warm. You have no idea. I come, fr I come from the north of the world, and uh, snow, snow is comfort. Um, let's have a really good look now at how this is going to develop, and let's look at you with the same thing as you have that on your screen. Bat smash and Longtion again. Bat smash out in front for the lead. Yeah, definitely taking uh, the lead, and uh, we have Anxion who's falling up quite closely, trying to make the best of it. But actually, Nami was like, "We just wanted this game to end, <laughs> to the lead. No Don't ever try chances. No, no more, ever try no, to do anything else. Run down just the keep clock. it that way." And this is the end. Everybody's smiling. Everybody's smiling. The the orange team is smiling. The blue team is smiling. Do you know we why they're have, smiling? <laughs> well, I think the blue team is because they won all their games. Uh, yeah, they if have. If I'm not and mistaken. Yes, and. That's that means, and let's get excited saying that, it's still the unofficial score, but chances are, <laughs> Namur, there it is. Oh, that went so fast. Thank you so much. The scoreboards have been fantastic. The weekend. 151 for Namur, 151 points for Namur, qui a gagné non seulement la partie, mais également le tournoi. 96 points for Vienna. Uh, 96 points. 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 96 
such a lovely teams at such some uh, very wonderful games these past two days. Uh, it's been quite amazing to see. Um, I'm distracted because we have the GTO coming to our table right now, and I'm also looking at everyone. He wants your jam. <laughs> <laughs> what a great let's time we have got, here. Get, let's not get into that. We, do we are going to have to the award ceremony. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying you have to go prepare yourself for the award ceremony. That's so why I'm being taken away actually from okay. you. Okay. So I'm let you. Uh, uh, thank you, everybody. <laughs> okay. We just follow the two other games and let's see we'll you be in here. a bit.